Welcome back digital watch fans to vintage digital watches and to another video uh, and today we'll take a look at one of the brands that is very close to my heart uh, and that is Orient and we're going to take a look at their solar lineup uh, which I've been obsessing about so I will tell you why I have this obsession what to watch out for if you do decide to get one of these and where to source them so we'll kick things off uh, with me trying to explain why I love them so much uh, and basically it's design uh, I know that's a bit subjective, but I'll try to explain. Uh, if you look at Seiko, Casio and Citizen, when, uh, you take, when it comes to their solar watches, uh, they have uh, quite tacky designs with sharp edges. Well, Orient is exactly the opposite. They have soft curves uh, and it's almost, uh, they have a poetic design. Um, and uh, if you can imagine it, do you know how 50s comic books uh, imagined the future? how ships, buildings and cars would look. Well, if you ask them to design a solar digital watch, they would have drawn an Orient. And these are the ones that I have. Absolute beauties. You can even see Orient try to make the dial an interesting part of the watch as it would be on an analog watch uh, with balanced colorings and gradients. Uh, and yeah, I love the brown. Who puts brown on their digital watches? Well, Orient did. Cases are always thought through and you can see what I mean by soft curves. Wearing this will not make people automatically think you're a geek. Besides that, they are really solid watches. All stainless steel construction, case and back, none of that alloy base metal crap. Uh, and also good size, 37 to 40 millimeters, depending on what you get. So yeah, very wearable. So hopefully by now I've convinced you to get one. And if you do decide to get one, here's a list of, list of things uh, to watch out for. And the number one is staining underneath the crystal. Uh, and yeah, but nobody likes that because it's immediately visible on the watch's face. Uh, by the way, I'm actually wearing one of them. Uh, so yeah, uh, staining underneath the crystal may be because of two things. One of them is due to age. I don't know, maybe some batches weren't probably, uh, didn't have crystal fit in place. But uh, yeah, that's uh, no way you can prevent that. But what you can prevent is uh, mechanical shocks. So staining underneath the crystal does happen because of mechanical shocks. So if you drop the watch or, and uh, this last one I managed to cause on a watch and ruin it, is when you change the battery and you use one of those back cover pressing tools. Uh, you can imagine that uh, when you're pressing the back on, the entire weight of the watch uh, uh, rests on the crystal. So the tip here is, uh, the lower part uh, of the tool that you are using, so this die here on the bottom, uh, make sure it's not one of those flat ones, uh, so uh, the watch will not rest with a crystal on, uh, on, on the die. Make sure it's slightly bigger uh, so that the watch's case rests uh, on the edges of the die uh, and the crystal is essentially uh, floating. Uh, so when you press uh, the back in, uh, no pressure will be on the crystal uh, and that will save you from uh, that horrible staining. So I guess it's, it's not staining, it's, it's just uh, the crystal uh, uh, being peeled off from the watch. Because these don't have a back plate, so the ornaments that you see behind the crystal are actually uh, glued or painted on the crystal. The next one is closely related to uh, uh, the back cover as well. Uh, these have a snap-on back cover and it's not one that you can easily close with your hands. You do need a tool. Uh, so remember that. Uh, and uh, also they have, some of them have a battery bulge. Uh, and if you have a die that uh, doesn't have space for that battery bulge, make sure you modify your die uh, to take into account the fact that the battery bulge is there. Number three is uh, these, some of them uh, have a film uh, PCB, so uh, it's not like a regular uh, Bakelite board, it's like printed on a film. And even more so, some of them, uh, they have a floating uh, integrated circuit. So if corrosion happens, they are super difficult to fix, but there is, I guess there is nothing you can do against this. If you do buy one and it is corroded inside, uh, then yeah, tough luck. But just something to be aware of. And the last one is a positive thing actually. Uh, these are solar and you can actually use solar batteries. What I successfully used, they are uh, Panasonic CTL 6 to 1 batteries uh, and I had to adapt them to make sure they fit because in diameter they're a little bit smaller uh, than what the watch expects. 
but while the micro light will not work they will stay charged even if you take put the watch in a drawer for let's say a week uh, i had mine uh, i think even two weeks in my drawer and it still kept on going so you don't need to worry the uh, the solar panel is super big to, compared to casio or seiko or citizen solar watches so it has no problem in charging that battery so if you like it like it to be as close as possible to uh, the real thing do use a solar charged battery so as a wrap up uh, if you're wondering what my advice is if you should get one or not is yes absolutely get one these are highly underrated they are super good quality uh, and they can be an oddball in your collection i know many people don't even know that orion make, made digital watches uh, 30 years ago and say wow these are excellent they are nice where'd you get them uh, and uh, sourcing them is a bit hard because uh, they are not on collector's radar so people don't usually tend to think that they can make money off them uh, by selling them so if somebody isn't interested in a watch they might think yeah this is worthless uh, not Seiko not Casio not Citizen uh, no one will buy it uh, so yeah because of that they're scarce uh, now where to find them keep looking on eBay and uh, most importantly on Yahoo Auction Japan uh, whatever site you use joss.com Sandico I use Jaws.com and had success with finding them, but uh, you do have to be consistent, consistent because even in Japan they are not as popular. So rather than using intelligent search terms, uh, I usually use Orient Chronogra Chronograph or Orient LCD Watch and Orient Digital Watch. Uh, ju just be consistent. Do this search uh, every couple of days and something will pop up. And when usually they do, uh, th uh, the prices are in the lows. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short video uh, about my Orient Solar Digital Watch obsession. If you do enjoy videos like this about digital watches, do subscribe because this is the content that I try to do as often as I can, but I haven't been putting out much lately. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.